Here. I appreciate it. Good this work. program is filmed in front of a live studio audience. This is nice. Striker of Enyo, and this is Top Moments of the... Nice. You're too fat! You need to get nice. a job, you tub of Florida of crap! Oh, that's it. I'm just gonna Appreciate hold it. I'm glad you're here. Nice. I have had enough of you. Thanks. Just so good work. Angry. Gotta Thanks. get it all out it. on your face. I'm glad you're here. With a fist. I'm glad you're here. Uh, okay. Nice. Thank you. Nice. So, Striker Avenio here with nice. how the wait. Uh, top moments of the week in nice. Resident Evil 6 because you can see Leon Appreciate and you see the nice. uh, uh, bitch tits Good in the work. back. Uh, I forgot her name. Nobody here. remembers her name, so nice. let's do it. So this is actually the uh, the difficulty selection screen, and it also is the character selection screen, and uh, the, the way they do it with these guys shaking their heads, it always looked like they were having a conversation, like. I've seen so much, it's so bad. It's, oh no, I've I've seen so much. I mean, Raccoon City, all those people. No, I mean, like, you don't know my story yet. I mean, it's really, my uncle touched me. <laughs> wow, 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 that's, that's really not that good, you know, I guess. He fingered my ass, or, well, oh, really, uh, well, I mean, I suppose that that's pretty depressing, and I mean, you can't. <laughs> he made me touch his bead. <laughs> there was so much stuff. Well, this is getting kind of awkward now. I, I, I guess we should move on. So those zombies, huh? How it is? How's it? Uh, so this is. So we're actually properly into the game. Uh. Yeah, there's, there's plants still. So what they've done now is they actually put z dead bodies of zombies, you know, everywhere. And, uh, yeah, he actually got activated by me tripping over, which is kind of cool because, uh, I mean, literally for like 15-some years, for the most part, you know, when when characters uh, ran into dead bodies, you didn't trip over them. So it's kind of cool to see that. But nice. that zombie got activated that way, and other zombies that are laying on the ground, you can shoot them all you want and try to kick them, but they sometimes don't get activated until you do something or you cross a threshold. It's it's a little different, but you got to get used to it. Oh yeah, then there's the uh, the pill form. Uh, every time you pick up a plant, now it turns into a pill basically, and so one green and one green equal three green. And uh, if you add one green to three green, it turns it into six. If you add one green and one red, that also makes six. And and now, uh, that's not technically in your inventory yet. You actually have to select it and then put it in your pill capsule. And now it's actually selectable when you're playing. So now Leon uh, looks like he's taking a tic-tac every time he needs health. Uh, so, you know, it's it's no more, you know, red and green fill your entire life. It's red and green just give you six more uh, segments of your bar. And uh, and the weird thing is, is that when you get hurt, um, your other character still stabs you with an EpiPen or something and gets your heart rate going. It's like, well, is is that the plant? Nice crotch shot. I mean, is, is that the plant in liquid form I'm taking? I mean, you know, oh yeah, Leon's kick gets weaker, which means this guy can bash fuck my face in. You got knocked the fuck out! Well, I mean, I guess he's he's more dead, right? So, whatever. Shout out to Ice T? Ice Cube? Shit, which one's which? And, uh, <laughs> so this is... Leon is still technically a badass, though. Um... He's got some cool moves, uh, it's, it's hard to- Fans seem to enjoy the Leon campaign the most. I've heard some even say that they wish the whole game was just like that, it's actually done pretty well. Uh, I think so too. <laughs> God damn, that's fucking awesome! I'd shit myself if they did that back in the GameCube era. Oh, fucking nice. Leon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't forget this, you can literally do this at any time. <laughs> just... Good work. Encourage each other. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to sleep with you. Good work. I find you attractive. <laughs> it's just, and this this is kind of a nice moment too. Um, 
or it's cool, you know, where Leon looks at a bank of monitors and, and sees a couple of dudes with the help sign, you know, trying to get someone's attention on a CCTV, you know, camera. And then you see the legs in the background, and we all know where it's kind of going. But it's kind of cool because most of this is set up without dialogue, uh, except for the fact when Leon, like, cocks his gun and wants to run off and avenge their death, I guess. Because obviously they're gone at that point, right? I mean... If you have to open one door, it's going to be too late, right? So, it's just, that's what it is. Leon actually takes, like, 15 seconds to actually say, Yeah, you're right. Uh, let's not go. Number three, and yes, I'm using the Minecraft font for the numbers because I've never used it before. Probably never will again, but whatever. So, this is our, our kind of our introduction to the zombies. I mean, you're trapped in an elevator, and you know one of these people are probably going to turn, uh... The older guy, uh, the actor's actually done pretty well. He has to sell the fact that, you know, it's his daughter, and he breaks down pretty, pretty convincingly, I think. You know, when you consider he's got to sell this pretty fast in the game, he's only got so many lines of dialogue. You know, it works pretty good. And, uh, and you know, he's been coughing a whole lot, so it's kind of setting up that, oh, he might turn into a zombie, and... I mean, sure, it's, it's going to change on us, but I mean, the power goes out or the light breaks or whatever, and uh, and there's some sound effects, and you could definitely tell that, obviously, uh, you know, maybe the daughter bit the guy or the guy bit or something, and you're thinking it might be the guy, uh, and then it turns out to be the daughter, so they, they, they try to kind of flip it on you, even though you could see it, and this is actually the first quick time event that you get is... You know, in the elevator fighting this girl, so I think it works kind of good. They don't make it easy on you either. I mean, you have to be uh, fairly quick on those those knobs. That's what she said. You know, in order to succeed, and uh, I just think it, it works pretty good. You know, someone out there is really trying to make this, you know, their version of Resident Evil, um, for good or bad. Here we are at number two. So, yeah, it's the parking garage. Uh, I kind of like this. Uh, the lighting and whatnot looks pretty cool. Uh, the blacks are, are very dark. You couldn't do this back on the uh, the GameCube and whatnot. The, the lighting was... It was really hard to make something atmospheric that was still in full 3D. Um, <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. He takes out the knife and stabs him. Uh, watch the guy. Back of the head, John Wilkes, motherfucking booth. Uh, don't tell the kids at the playground, I don't want them repeating that line. But yeah, this is kind of a cool section. Okay, it was the side of the head. And the number one spot. Well, like I said, uh, it was, these are the top moments. Uh, one of the moments is unfortunately that Leon doesn't really seem like he's himself. I mean, you know, this is supposed to be the president of the United States, and obviously he's turned into a zombie. I mean, through and through. No, you know, partially good skin where you could kind of question it. But Leon hesitates to shoot him. I mean, it's a zombie. And even after a phone call, he basically says, I shot the president of the United States. And it's like, well, Helena says, yeah, but he turned into a zombie. Leon, I mean, you, you understand how this works. You've literally killed probably hundreds of zombies back in Raccoon City back in the second game. And in the fourth game, they weren't zombies, but, I mean, you've taken out a lot of creatures. You know, it, it just seems weird. Like, like it's trying to make it like the audience doesn't know who he is, so, you know, we need to make it seem dramatic and whatnot. And... And yeah, it actually is a different voice actor as well. Uh, the guy that did the original uh, voice. Well, I mean, he did the voice for Resident Evil 4 and also Resident Evil uh, Degeneration, the CGI movie. It was kind of cool to actually about? see him come back for that. But unfortunately, uh, that guy, Paul Mercer, has only done Leon twice. And that's the fans, really the most favorite memory of him uh, How do you know in this game it's actually a guy named Matthew Mercer but uh, his real name is actually Matthew Christopher Miller so um, it's not he's not related not like he's a brother or anything and he did 
the voice for, for Leon several times, including the Resident Evil Damnation CGI movie, so it's it's just a little off. It, it's close, but unfortunately, it's kind of disappointing. 